二零二三條第二十條 M C 咧，係有關於我哋嘅神經系統嘅。咁題目咧就要我哋睇翻以下嘅句子啦。邊一句咧係能夠正確咁樣解釋得到點解反射動作通常都會比起隨意動作為之快嘅咧？咁呢個題目啦，自不然就考返我哋啦，分唔分得清反射動作同埋隨意動作嘅一啲分別啦。咁而家啦，做一擊破咯喎。第一句呢，佢就話啦，反射動作係唔牽涉一啲做決定嘅過程嘅。咁呢句呢，係正確嘅，因為啦呢一句呢，係話咗俾我哋聽，原來反射動作係唔關個大腦事嘅。所以啦，嗰個神經嘅路徑呢，相對上就短啲。咁呢度啦，就係考返我哋第一個嘅分別啦。隨意動作就通常咧係有大腦咧參與喺其中嘅，但係反射動作咧就係、是、由個脊髓啦同埋我哋嘅鹽水咧就牽涉喺其中，就唔關大腦事嘅。跟住啦，去到第二句啦，神經脈衝咧係喺反射動作嘅時候咧係會行得快啲嘅。咁其實呢句説話本身咧自己都已經係錯噶啦，因為啦神經脈衝其實佢喺喺個神經嘅纖維入面咧，佢係以同樣嘅速度去行嘅。除非啦，嗰、那個神經嘅纖維咧係冇個水鞘嘅啫。咁啊，因為水鞘嘅咩功能啊？其中一個咧就係、是、加速到神經脈衝嘅傳遞啦。咁所以啦，如果一個人佢嘅神經系統係健全嘅，係就唔會話有啲神經嘅纖維咧係冇水鞘包住嘅話咧，照計啦，那個神經脈衝喺個神經纖維入面咧係以相同嘅速度去傳送嘅。咁所以啦，個關鍵位係講緊你個神經路徑長，亦或係短啦。咁所以第二句呢，就唔係答案咯。咁所以啦，二啦，二啦，可以四 g o o d b y e 啦。咁啊，去到第三句要睇埋佢咯。第三句呢，佢就講啦，反射動作呢係天生嘅。誒、哎、呢句本身呢，係自己係正確㗎喎，因為反射動作真係天生㗎嘛。咁但係反射動作係天生啫，但係同佢個速度有冇關係呢？係冇關係㗎喎。所以第三句呢，都係錯，所以答案呢就係 A 啦。喺呢度呢，有一樣嘢想提大家，就係、是、有關於嗰個速度嘅問題啊。嗱，反射動作通常都係快嘅，而隨意動作咧係可以快，亦可以慢。咁呢個速度咧係好建基於我哋個動作啦，係牽涉咗邊一啲嘅神經嘅路徑嘅。因為啦，有啲例子好簡單嘅啫，隨意動作其實都可以好快嘅。例如啦，啲跑手咧聽到 b a 嗰一下咧，就即刻會彈出嚟去起跑咧。其實呢個都係隨意動作，但係佢都可以好快嘅喎，係咪？所以啦。當我哋比較緊反射動作同埋隨意動作嘅時候咧，我哋就唔會一而蓋之就話啦，哦，反射動作咧就叫做快，隨意動作咧就一定叫做慢。其實兩者都可以好快嘅。咁過往咧都拍咗唔少片咧，係有關於神經系統啦，尤其是係睇病學敗哦，一條片教曬你啦。如果神經系統邊個位置受損嘅話啦，會導致到啊喐唔喐到隻手啊，吉你隻手你又知唔知痛啊？喐唔到到隻腳啊，吉你隻腳又知唔知痛啊？你又～做唔做到反射動作咧？做唔做到隨意動作咧？一段片教曬你啦，快快手睇下片，温下書啦。咁過往咧 ，M C 咧都有關於反射動作啦、隨意動作嘅比較啦，都有問過有關於一啲特定嘅反射動作，例如失約反射啦。Two to three M C question twenty is about our nervous system. So it's asking about the reflex action and the voluntary action. Which of the following correctly explain why reflex actions are usually faster than Voluntary action. Surely, this question is asking us to distinguish reflex action from voluntary action. So let's take a look at the statement one by one. So first statement is saying that reflex action do not involve decision making. This statement is correct because cerebrum is not involved in the reflex action. Therefore, the nervous pathway is shorter. When we are comparing the reflex action and the voluntary action, nervous pathway is one of the criteria. For the reflex action, it involves spinal cord or the medulla oblongata, but not the cerebrum. But for the voluntary action, always involves the cerebrum. Therefore, for the nervous pathway, it will be longer than the. Nervous pathway in the reflex action. So therefore, number one is correct, and statement number two is saying that nerve impulse travel faster in the reflex action. This statement is false itself because the nerve impulse it travel in the nerve fiber at the same speed unless the nerve fiber is not 
myelinated. So we call the idea of the myelin sheath. Myelin sheath, that's the fatty structure surrounding the nerve fiber. And one of the function is to speed up the transmission of the nerve impulse. So for the normal person, healthy person with the healthy normal nervous system, the nerve fiber should be surrounded by the myelin sheath. Therefore, the nerve impulse, they travel in the nerve fiber at the same speed. Therefore, the critical idea should be the nervous pathway. Is it short or long? So it will determine the time taken for the nerve impulse traveling from one point to the other point. Okay. Say goodbye to number two. Uh, and for statement number three, reflex actions are inborn. Eh? For the nature of the response, we can really see that reflex action inborn, voluntary action not inborn. So for the statement number three is the powerful distractor because this statement is true itself. However, the inborn or not is not related to the speed of the action. So therefore, statement number three also wrong. Say goodbye, say goodbye. And then the final answer will be one only A. And one idea I would like to mention is about the speed of the response. Don't make the case that simple. Oh, for the reflex action, the response is fast. And then for the voluntary action, the response is slow. Not really. For the voluntary action, the response can be fast as well. It depends on the nervous pathway involved and the nature of the response. So there is a one example to show that voluntary action can be very fast. It is the runner here, the gun sound, and then start running for the starting. So you can see that they can react very, very fast. In the past, I made different video about the nervous system. So in the nervous system, any part of it get injured. So what will happen? Or can you do the reflex action, voluntary action? Can your arm feel the painful sensation or you can move your arm? Or for the leg, can you move the leg or can you feel the painful sensation from the leg? So watch the video the revision and you can see that there were different mc questions about the reflex and the voluntary action comparison and also some specific example for the reflex for example the knee jerk reflex